Hey everybody, Scott here from G-System Videos. Back from my little pre-recording recording stuff, a couple of weeks. Just uh, working out the uh, tones for a recording that's coming up. And, uh, you know, good times. Putting the G-System to some practical use for a change. And uh, today, I'm going to show you how to get an 8 second reverb with articulation. Okay, what I'm doing with the reverb today is, oh, let me show you here. I've got an eight second decay, that's pretty big. And the, the reason why you can, you can still get some articulation and you, know, you can hear all the notes is I've set the pre-delay to the maximum, 100 milliseconds. It's as, the largest size there is, curve shape, of course. I've cranked up the uh, high color reel to 25. No bass. Now, I'll demonstrate when you bring in some bass back in. It, it you really can't control it if you put if you keep the bass in on the reverb. It gets just insane and just bathed in reverb that makes it impossible to understand what you're playing. Early reflections cranked negative seventy five. Not all the way, but it's up there. The reverb level is down to negative six, and the mix is fifty percent. Now, what I'm doing with the uh, the delay is I wanted to give it some interesting character after the notes. So, I'm using the reverse delay. And I've got the, it cranked as far as it can go, 800 milliseconds. Feedback, 30. I've adjusted the cuts. And the mix isn't terribly high. If it goes too much, it gets to be too noticeable. And then, you know, if, if it's what you're going for, then, you know, turn up the mix by all means. I just didn't like it um, when I went over 20%. 25 is about as far as I want to go with this particular thing. I'm using the detune today because I'm only using one amp. I want to show people that you can do these kind of things with a single amp. And a little bit of pitch shifting. And there's that. Now I have the preset routing to set to serial 2, so I'm using a modulation delay. And I've got the vibrato going on in the modulation. And uh, so you're getting sort of like it's it's how I replicate a shimmer type of effect. It's not exactly a shimmer, but you know it's pretty good for the G system. Um, I could add a filter if I wanted to, but I don't want to uh, get in the way of the original tone so much. So I'm gonna play a little bit more, and then uh, and then we're gonna monkey around some more. <laughs> As you can see, um, you know, I can play pretty quick passages and still with an eight second reverb, you know, that's pretty awesome. You've just got to make the uh, proper adjustments. Now, other fun things you can do with this, obviously we can change whatever modulation effect we want for the modulation delay. We can also change the delay itself to a non-reverse -re delay, although I really like the reverse for this because it, it's softer. It doesn't, um, it doesn't compete with the reverb so much. And the main idea of this patch is to have a really big reverb. Um, but I'm going to change around the, uh, the modulation effect just for fun. Let's go with something crazy. Modern Univibe. Let's do that. Get the speed up there. And... Do, 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 do. All right. 
Let's hear that. There you go. Not a really big difference. Um, you can get slight shades of, uh, of change there. I played a little bit of a Johnny A tune. Um, but uh, what I was talking about earlier with the reverb here is with the low color. Okay, having it on no bass is the key to this sound, really. I'm going to change it a little bit, and you'll see what I mean. Let's bring it back to real. Let's hear that. Actually, I'm going to toggle between the two, and uh, you'll be able to hear the difference. There you go. See what I mean? Uh, when you're on the no bass setting with the low color and the reverb, you really get uh, a much more articulate sound, and it, you're not, you know, in a cathedral. You are, but it's, uh, you know, it's a controllable cathedral. It's, you know, you're the boss, not the cathedral itself. So there you go. You know, something to mess around with if you want a really big reverb, and uh, I know you do. And here's some options for you. Rock on.